monument, right? Uh, it's part of history. We just don't go around destroying history. If you look at Europe, right, they've had those statues up for centuries. Even if there's some bad dictator or caused a lot of, you know, mass harm in some way, shape, or form, we all understand that it's history, right? You don't just go around burning a bunch of textbooks because you don't like it or agree with it. This statue was here for the public, built by the public. So at the end of the day, it's all of our statues. Even if we disagree with it, I disagree with it. I don't like it, right? It doesn't give us the right to just destroy it and bring it down just because somebody else, you know, gets upset about it. So the way I see it is that the statue should stay there. And even as it's graffiti right now, it's a part of history, right? Hey, look, we can, we can, we can yell and scream and do all that we want, but at the same time, there's no changing what happened in the past. And we should all remember it. Like, when you destroy stuff like this, you just forget it. Like, we don't want to just erase it. We want to remember what happened. That's the whole point. Um, you know, don't agree with slavery. Nobody's saying that. But at the same time, if you look at it and go back into history, like, that, that, that's what you have to pay attention to. This is this is what we what they did. This is this is how they got their message through. So like yeah, I can agree with training because when I as far as that goes, the statue should stay in my opinion. So I was getting right. That's all I got to say. It's like I get its history and everything, and I get it's been around for a while. However, it's a lot of black people, especially, have expressed that it's it's a huge like point of contention in that it's hurtful and it's you know it, they look at it and there's not like oh that's history or that's heritage it's like it's just wrong and honestly I deserve it I think it deserves to fall like on its face and die um, but if they want to move it to a cemetery that's cool and all but why why put the two lawsuits on it why like why even do that and the simple answer is is because there's always gonna be pushback on it so it's kind of like man i wish we could dismantle it but look at how that bitch is it's just like it's impossible like how are you gonna take down a structure that big right like all the other monuments it's a little bit they're smaller right so yeah. but th this one's massive i mean god damn and it's just so prominently displayed it's almost just like this big white supremacist just like this like power display and it's just gross right and it's right in the middle of this monument avenue and for whatever reason it increases all these house prices around here and that's like what half the lawsuit's about it's like so you want to keep the statue the racist statue because your house is worth more that's like the most like bougie ass starbucks shit that i've ever heard in my whole life yeah fuck 12 and fuck that statue I'm talking about this statue Man, fuck that to... statue, man. What the hell wrong with me? Fuck that statue, man. Don't nobody give a fuck about this shit, man. Hey, what does that mean? Do I know about this in my lifetime? Is that relevant to me? Yeah, it like... is because it needs to be gone because we need to move past this yeah, shit. Yeah, bro, you feel me, bro? Like, come on, bro. This big racist motherfucker sitting up there, man. Fuck that nigga, man. Why ain't Fuck Tommy nigga, Woods up here? Robert E. Lee, Why that nigga that stole first my black name? and white couple from Virginia that had a movie on HBO. Why aren't they up here? <laughs> no, for real, bro. I just feel like it need to go down, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? And they ain't what we out here for, just for the statue to come down. We out here for, we want peace. The statue is a symbol of we what we want to come down, yeah. which is the systemic racism. Yeah, it's mostly racism. about the symbolism, honestly. Yeah. Just the history of that, like knowing what happened under his, his power. Idolizing yeah. this right. guy who didn't promote peace? At all, you know at all. Saying? Racist. He's a racist. Hey, you, you hey what's that little him? girl who was like recently nominated to be like um, a Nobel Peace Prize winner? She's from Sweden or something. She wanted to do something with the Earth. Like, what's her name? Greta Thunberg. Yeah, Greta Thunberg. Why can't we have a statue of Greta Thunberg out here? Hey, I know we're supposed to be talking about the statue, right? Sorry, so sorry. I'm, you good? I'm gonna no, say you this. good, man. Yeah. I'm gonna say this. I just just because y'all say that y'all was gonna pull a statue, there, I don't history. mean we gonna stop. You know what I'm saying? Y'all cannot play us like a puppet on the screen. You know what I'm saying? You see me? You know what I'm saying? You see me? I'm that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't yeah. gonna play us like no puppet on the screen. We don't want. We want this bitch to come down. But we want more than that, man. This is only step one. And, you know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna pull it down, because this bitch too big. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the bitch coming down, though, believe that. You know what I'm saying? It's just step one, like you said, man. Yep. You know what I'm saying? We just want to be treated the same as everybody else. Equal opportunity from yeah, everybody. Especially me, man. I got a daughter. Her birthday today. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. You, know birthday. you can get older and see this. But look, look first birthday. My I don't want her to grow up, up like this, man. Speakers of peace. Nah, people that no bring sir. people together. Yeah. This person didn't bring people together. This person tore people apart. Everybody was home for coronavirus. 
They was out of work and they was forced to watch George Floyd die on TV played yeah. over and over and over. Oh. Just like the OJ Simpson race. Let's feed the sensation. Well, guess what? Everybody's home and they're not confused with work and they realize this is not the sensation that they want. We need a different sensation. We need a different type of reform, not just for black and white and minorities, but we need criminal justice reform on all levels. We need juvenile justice reform. We need people to know that when you go and vote, don't vote for just the president, vote for who your local leader is because they're delivering the message to the president. And if the message doesn't start right down low, it ain't gonna be right when it gets up high. Yeah, I think we should leave the whole thing up. Other, other than Robert, what's his name? Robbie the fuck is his name? Traitor, the traitor guy. <laughs> but yeah, we take him down. I'm saying there's a lot of things like, the things we do for hor that we do to horses and animals nowadays, you know what I mean? Like, why can't we, why can't we honor the, the animal? You know what I mean? He's up there, and they always look so angry too. It's kind of like it's pretty gnarly. Plus, yeah, but it looks good. You know what I mean? It, it's like they they always talking about history. Like if if we just clean all this shit up, what about all the history we put into this? You know what I mean? I literally put probably three hours of work in here. Yeah, day. what were you tagging? I've put in a lot of names. There's not there's not even a, I'm not even half not even done. There's so many names. I put I put uh, right there. That's uh, Tamir Rice. Hands up. I put mm -hmm. that up there. I put um I put that fuck twelve right there. Mm -hmm. Um the the Breonna Taylor, um, Rob, um, Robert Fuller, Mike Brown, George Floyd, um, uh, uh, Marcus Peters. You know what I mean? I was just putting. It's not. It's not like I'm running out of names. Right. You know what I mean? So why, why? Why are you putting it up there? Because like, if they can't write their own names, they can't write their own names anymore. They can't sign documents. Oh my God. You know what I mean? So why can't I honor them? And you know what I mean? That's my way of honoring them, showing them that I can write their names for them. You know what I mean? No one's forgot of everything they've went through. You know what I mean? We're all here for that movement. We're trying to make sure it doesn't happen again. It doesn't need to keep happening. It's happened for 400 years. You know what I mean? It's, just, it's a new form of slavery. And we just need to, it's victimless. Half the shit that we're going through, you know what I mean? And we're sending guys, we're sending guys with badges, with guns who are ill-trained for a mental health fucking episode. You know what I mean? He's naked and you gotta, he's, he's a threat. It doesn't make any sense. But other than that, like, it's a good movement out here, man. Yeah. There's nothing but love out here, and we're, everyone's policing each other, you know what I mean? There's a little high tension here and there, but overall, everything comes back to normal. It yeah. comes back together. We don't have to worry about it. Um, I think it's a great thing to be out here to witness this. Um, I think that African Americans for so long, we've been oppressed, and it's finally um, great to see us getting our shine and you know trying to break down systematic racism. Um, I think it's definitely a long road, but this is a start. Um, I think this is great. I don't think it should be taken down. I think it needs to be seen. Everyone should see it. Um, I think if we keep doing this, it brings attention to it, and it's going to bring awareness. And I'm, I'm interested to see like how this will play out, you know, with the um, taking it as far as support and trying to get laws and bills passed to make it a better world for African Americans and for those who are, you know, hoping one day to have children because no one wants to put a child in danger. So I'm just praying that this will have a serious effect on everyone that will finally have justice for everyone that has lost their lives to this violence. Not the statues! Destroy the statues. They have no place in our modern society. Woo! They're an example of racism that doesn't need to be here today. Black Lives Matter! We're idolizing racism. Get racism the fuck out of here. There's no place for it. Everyone deserves an equal chance. It's a land of opportunity, or so we were told. Black Lives Matter!
Like this So I was talking while you were interviewing this other guy and he was telling me that he is a black police officer, or was. He resigned three months ago and he has like the blue uh, the blue line thin blue. tatted on thin blue line tatted on his arm. And I was like, oh, do you wanna say that, you know, for the camera what you feel about it? He was like, I don't, you know, wanna say this on camera. He was like, because it would just kind of take away from the current cause by saying that I support police officers. He was like, which I do. He's like, I don't believe in def defunding the police. I believe in actually injecting money into the police department to train people better. Because he was like, there were times when I was out there and they would like get mad at me for handling a situation, you know, poorly. And he was like, but I was like, you guys never train me that way. And he was like, how am I supposed to know what to do if you guys don't train me? So he's like, that's what, how I feel about it. But he's like, I'm not going to say that right now. Yeah. Because it would kind of take away from, right. you know, the current cause. I've been out in the Mahalo. The only thing I want, just to kind of piggyback off of that, but like the people get so obsessed, like the people that support it, it's like, you know, it's history and stuff. But like, it just seems like people forget, you know, the history that it reminds people that aren't like them, like black people and... It reminds them of the Civil War, and people like to forget that, uh, or tend to forget that it wasn't just about states' rights; it was about slavery, to own, you know, to own slaves. And I don't think people truly realize how much that reminds people of color what that that obviously symbolizes. And 
I wish I wish more people realized that. No, I mean, shit, white white the white supremacists on Twitter realize it very well. Like, you know, they'd be popping off like that's our that's like our beacon. It's like so fucked. Yeah. It's like so fucked that that's like a beacon for white supremacy. But you know, it we're occupying it though. Yeah. So I think they're kind of buffered about it, if you ask me. Yeah, it's like I'm I'm torn too because like I'm with you. Like maybe take the top off, but like in a way, not we've that, had some people say that. Yeah, not, not that people would like just keep the horse. Yeah, not yeah. that people would forget it, but like it is a good reminder now. Well, and just put a dress on him. Like, why not? <laughs> you know? And it's and it's a piece of art now, and it, yeah. there's so many voices on it, and it, it is beautiful. This is real history, yeah. right? Like real is history, almost like it's a beautiful expression of the real yeah. history of it too, because it's like with all that with all that graffiti on it and and everything, it just it really makes a state. It really shows the history of it, right? Whereas the way it was before, there was. It's just this big. It was a. It was almost like a glorified history. You know? Yeah. It's like, he looks heroic and stuff, and just like, the, the, once and, again, going back to what I said. And now it's, it's like, real, yeah, right? People don't realize what that that statue symbolizes. I think it symbolizes so much more now, especially with the graffiti. Oh, on absolutely. It. Yeah. Uh, and I think like taking Lee off of it would be the best bet, <laughs> and just keeping everything else there, and like not letting people mess with the graffiti. But you know they're not gonna do that. But we all got a dream, right? So. You know, it's sad. It's sad that it's still here, but I'm glad that we have good people occupying it. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I'm an artist. Are you? Okay. And I, in, I have about four paintings of this, and so I intend to paint them and put them in exhibits and stuff like that. So I, I love to, um, I've done several paintings for Black Lives Matter. Um, oh, one was up on the jum Jumbotron yesterday. Really? So, wow. Yeah. Wow, that's so, amazing. Yeah. So. All right. So what do you think about the uh, monument? You think we should keep it up? No. Take yeah, it down? Take it down. Take, take it, it down? Away. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know. What would you say to the people that are trying to keep it up because of history? Well, this is history, too. Um, so, I think it's, um, I think to, to keep it here, I know some people say keep it here like this, but I, I don't see a good purpose for that. I think it needs to come down. The time has come. So. How the fuck you want to keep it up? There's no positive, there's no positive attributes, you know. Other than wealth, you know, that you kind of like forced upon um, another whole type of people. So I don't see, you know, if it's not your family, if you're not elite, I don't see how you benefited from, you know, your name being up there. At this point. As, yeah. Yeah. In, in modern times, like it's, you know, it's just a, a ugly reminder of America's old history. I mean, if we're moving forward together, then it, it has to come down. You know, for the greater good of everybody, not just for us as black people, but as a reminder to everybody else, you know, our counterparts, Caucasians, yeah, Asians, yeah. everybody else, like, you know. So it's, you know, it's. I mean, it's, that's why they're taking that, them down to other countries. Yeah, they're taking them down all over. I mean, it's just. <laughs> it, even if it's it insignificant to in this day and time. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I could just get your voice if you want. I'll just point it at the ground. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll point yeah, it up like this. Huh? Yeah, it's, it's significant because it, it's promoting, um, it, it, it promotes the same old racial problems, you know what I mean? You know, but it's, 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 it's systemic. They act like it's not there. It's like, oh, it's a, it's a, it's a hidden, it's a hidden agenda. Nephew and all that, that's oh. causing all the um, hidden agendas and things right over there. Yeah, so right here on the right, corner. Right, right over there. I think that that monument is time for it to come down. Um, it's, it's good to see all the people of diverse. Just it's good to see a lot of different people out here that's uh, against this monument. I got my little six-year-old granddaughter out here with me showing her history. And um, she didn't know anything about what's going on. So she's been kind of walking around and showing her all the people that 
died from police brutality. And she's like, so a six year old, and she said, why didn't she shoot her? Yeah. You know, so I'm just trying to let her see and uh, witness history before they remove it. But yes, yeah, so I definitely think it should come down. And um, it's just time, you know. I know a lot of people, I know a lot of people not, yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, she's showing you all her pictures. But, isn't that something? Got to start That's early. A, yeah, it's a lot of you pictures. Know? They don't learn this in school, so we have to, this is why you have to take your kids, grandkids, and show them. Wow, you got a lot of pictures. That's got a I'm lot of them. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm going to show you. Do you think it should be replaced by maybe a, a better figure? Maybe a Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I don't know who they're going to put up there, but right. it needs to be some. It needs to be somebody that. Like, it needs to be somebody, but not this statue built like the same thing. That's right. Absolutely. Somebody touched the world.